Hi, Dr. David Steele with Express Chiropractic. Jackson's up here at the office with me today. And so we wanted to uh, show you the proper way to uh, lift and carry a backpack. Uh, the kids are carrying more and more stuff in their backpack. They're getting heavier and heavier. Remember, kind of go with that, that under that theory of as the twig is bent, so grows the tree. If your child is getting a lot of weight on one shoulder versus the other, or just a lot of weight on both, shoulders and a lot of weight on their spine it can definitely impact their spine now and in the future and we don't want our kids to enjoy the same spine issues that we're enjoying so much right so we want to be real mindful when we're packing the backpack to put the heavy stuff towards the back of course so that it's closer to the body assuming that there is a lot of heavy items in the backpack when your child is lifting it so if i have jackson lift it like he would probably lift it if i wasn't always getting on to him it would look like what like that yes he would probably pick with his back and grab it with one hand what we would rather him do is use his legs especially if it's heavy and try to use his legs to lift it and it may look like it may be here and just show your child this. They're not gonna do it the right way if you don't show them. So your black backpack is here. They're lifting with their legs. They don't even know what lifting with their legs means in most cases, so you have to show them. Now, when they're putting the backpack on, you could even just put it on them at yourself, especially like if you have it hanging on a hook at home. If it's a heavy backpack, you can put it on them. Remember, ideally the backpack is not more than 15% of their body weight, so try to shoot for that if you can for max weight. You see how low this pack is hanging. This is putting the pole much further away from the body. We want that backpack up and as close to the body as we can get it. So pull the straps and get the backpack. Oops, sorry about that. Pull the straps and get the backpack tighter. So you want, go ahead, you can pull them and get them tighter. So pull the back straps, get the backpack tighter so that it's as tight as you can get it to the body and as close to the body as you can get it. This is kind of a big backpack for him, so it's probably not one that um, he would normally carry. This is one that he keeps other stuff in. If there's straps that can go around the waist, that's even better to keep the pack tighter. This one does not have them unless he tied these in a loop, which would look really cool if I sent you to school that way. I'm sure you'd love it. Um, so anyway, that's a few tips. Put the heavy stuff towards the back of the pack. Put the heavy stuff towards the back of the pack. Try to teach, teach your children how to lift with their legs. Make sure they're wearing both straps. You can even put it on their uh, on their back for them if you can. Make sure they are not um, hunching forward and make sure the straps are nice and tight. You don't want your child walking with the backpack way forward like this. That's a big indicator that it is too heavy for their growing spine. So be smart. I know we, uh, the kids are having to carry a lot of stuff in their backpacks and if all else fails, Talk to your school and see if they, there's items that they don't have to carry that they can leave there. I'm sure they'll try to work with you um, the best they can. Hope that helps. Jackson, anything to add? No. No, he has nothing to add. All right, Dr. D, over and out.